Your doctor recommends that you have surgery to place a drainage implant in your eye to help treat your glaucoma. Glaucoma is caused by increased pressure in the eye. Having a glaucoma device implanted in the eye helps lower pressure by improving how fluid drains from the eye. In the healthy eye, fluid called aqueous humor is made in the front of the eye and flows out through a tiny drain called the trabecular meshwork. The trabecular meshwork is located in an area called the drainage angle. If fluid doesn't flow out of the drainage angle properly, eye pressure increases and damages the optic nerve. Glaucoma implants are used to help lower the pressure in your eye by increasing the flow of fluid out of the eye. Glaucoma implant surgery is usually done as an outpatient procedure so you can go home afterwards. Before the surgery, you will be given anesthesia to help numb the eye so you do not feel pain. You may also be given medicine to help you relax. An injection may be given around or behind the eye to keep it from moving. You should feel only slight pressure in your eye during surgery. In glaucoma implant surgery, the drainage implant is usually placed in the area under either the upper or lower eyelid. Your ophthalmologist will stitch the implant to the sclera, the white part of your eye. Your ophthalmologist may cover the tube of the implant with a patch. Fluid will drain into the area around the implant. A tiny tube is attached to the drainage implant and inserted into the front chamber of the eye, usually just in front of the iris. The tube sends fluid from the inside of the eye to the implant, where it is absorbed into the body. As with any surgery, there are possible risks with glaucoma implant surgery. Glaucoma implant surgery risks can include increasing eye pressure, which can be temporary or permanent, failure to control eye pressure with the need for another surgery, either soon after surgery or much later, eye pressure that is too low, abnormal collection of fluid in the eye with the need for a second surgery, damage to the cornea or sclera, bleeding in the eye, infection, ongoing swelling in the eye, lens becoming cloudy or cataract, droopy eyelid, implant tube becoming blocked or moving out of position, ongoing irritation or discomfort in the eye, double vision, and partial or complete loss of vision. There are alternatives to having glaucoma implant surgery. You may be able to have another type of glaucoma surgery, or you may use eye drop medicine. Your ophthalmologist can explain why he or she chose implant surgery to treat your glaucoma. You do not have to have implant surgery for your glaucoma. However, without surgery, your eye pressure may continue to rise, causing permanent vision loss. If it is left untreated, glaucoma usually leads to blindness. Remember that glaucoma implant surgery does not improve your vision, but instead helps prevent loss of sight in the future. Treating your glaucoma is important for protecting your vision and your quality of life. If you have any questions or concerns about glaucoma implants, ask your ophthalmologist. He or she will be happy to help you understand the risks and the benefits of this glaucoma treatment. Also, if you have any questions or concerns about your eyes or your vision in general, don't hesitate to bring them up. Your ophthalmologist is committed to protecting your sight.